friends, it's Mitty Man coming back at you again for Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day. Mind you people, today has been a very interesting day. A lot of things have happened on this day. Matter of fact, the last two or three days has been a lot of issues and events that have taken place. I want to get a shout out to the YouTube fan for Baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa JT. Weather Mama JT, y'all know the routine. Uh, we uh, give honor to God. Always give him the glory. Dare not take any glory from our Lord and Savior. He the one died on Calvary and paid the price. Redeemed us from the law. Redeemed us from the curse of the law, which is sin and death. The, the wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I uh, have seen a lot of video clips. I thank all uh, Kingdom Connection. I thank all uh, PP Draw, Brother PP Drawing, Brother Hot and Cliff, uh, Brother JT, and uh, where a lot of the heads up about different various videos that is uh, out there on YouTube and events that's happening around the world, and especially in the United States as well. I'm, I come here tonight, people, to do this nightcap of the word for the day, and um, and um, to say the middle man feels good. Mitty Man is not worried. Mitty Man is not a bit more upset about the recent events. I'm quite sure everybody has heard about the quake that happened up there around the, on our eastern seaboard here. But for, we, we felt this. They said it felt the shock way. I didn't feel anything. Mitty Man didn't feel nothing. But it was said that it was felt all the way. The, the, the quake was felt all in Alabama, which is our neighboring state to the west of us over here. And it was said it was felt all the way down into Atlanta. And Savannah area, they, 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 and they're looking for some more aftershocks and everything. So, but people, Mitty Man is not a surprise. I mean, Mitty Man is not a surprise. And neither, sh if you are a Bible scholar, and if you believe, and if you have listened at all to the Word of God, you shouldn't be surprised either. Matter of fact, this confirmation for Mitty Man uh, is an exciting time to be alive. Cause we are seeing the thing that Jesus spoke of, in my opinion. My opinion. Because I read the book. And those are some of the things that Jesus spoke of that were going to be happening in the latter days. And people, we see it everywhere. I mean, we see it everywhere. And I want to give another shout out to P Brother P.P. Drawing for that Jesse Ventura video. That doesn't surprise me, brother. But it's good to know. I mean, we know that everything is setting up. Everything is working according to the plan. So what I'm saying is I, what I always said. We need to be about kingdom building, people. We need to be about kingdom building. All the signs are everywhere. We need to stop worrying about where we're going to do this and that. We need to be about God's business because things are happening. And that's all. You know, we not, there's no need to be alarmed. I mean, hey, Mitty Man is not worried. Like I said, Mitty Man is not upset one bit because of the fact that I know what time it is. Um, matter of fact, the only thing I can say is, and I hope everybody can get to the same point, my last day here is my first day with him. Simple as that. So, you know, there's no need to, no one to be upset and fearful. We just go on and live one day at a time. Occupy until he comes. That's what Jesus told all his disciples. He told us to occupy until he comes. So what we need to do, people, whatever it is that we've been doing, continue doing it. Don't stop doing what you're doing. That's what a lot of people did back when the people start making these doomsday propositions and stuff. People just start laying down, they want to die. No, 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 no. Live each day. Just as it was in the day of Noah, they were married and they were giving them married. In other words, things were going on as usual. That's what Jesus told. Keep things going as usual. When he comes, you'll know it. And, you know, all this here, like I said, it's debating and theory and head banging and beating each other up over who right, who wrong. It ain't going to matter who right and who wrong as far as knowing what God's going to do. Because there's one way, and it's going to be God's way. When the day of God's wrath come, I know that that's not for me, man. And it's not for you either, if you be a child here. The, the wrath of God is coming for the children of disobedience, not the children of obedience. So you don't have to worry about wherever you at. Wherever you may be, you don't have to worry. A child of God does not have to worry about the wrath of God. The wrath of God is coming upon sinful man. That's what the book says. 
Whether you be here or there, no matter. God's wrath is not for a child of God. It's for the children of disobedience. So, with all this the calamity that going on people in, in the world, just take note of it. You know, just like they, you know, they just, when they bombed Jerusalem here, just, I mean, Israel here not too long ago, a few days ago. Then all of a sudden, what do you see? An earthquake. Just a few days after they bombed Israel, I mean, you see, people may call it a coincidence, but if they, you can call it what you want, but it just seemed mighty strange to me. Immediately, just a few days after Israel get attacked by a foolish nation, we have an earthquake not even a week later. We have an earthquake on the eastern seaboard. Now, if it, this had happened in California, nobody would have been too more amazed at that because California has been known for the earthquake plague. I call it Shake and Bake USA. But on the East Coast, so you see now, you call it a coincidence you want to. Israel gets bombed one week ago or less. We have an earthquake on the East Coast right after that. Now, you call it what you want them. Scoffers, go ahead on the scoff. Keep scoffing. But I want you to do one thing too. Why are you scoffing at people that are trying to live right and to do the best they can to live for Christ? Why are you yet scoffing? You better look at these here signs that's happening. In other words, why are y'all trying to build y'all little underground cities and stuff? Remember what Book of Revelation said. Rocks fall on us, hide us from the face of him that sat on the throne and from the face of the Lamb. For the day of his wrath has come and who shall be able to stand? You can build all the bunkers you want. You can build all the underground secret halls you want to build. There ain't no hiding place. No hiding place. Take it from me to man and, and read your Bible. But like I say, people, the love of God was shown to us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died. He is the only way, according to my Bible. Now, I don't know what the Quran say. I'm not a student of the Quran. But, uh, but of the Holy Bible, especially that 1611 King James Version I read, according to that, Jesus is the only way. People, I stake my faith and life on that, have done that already. To God be the glory. And it said Jesus is the only way. So now, the choice is ours. He's always been a choice left up to man. Man cannot govern himself. People have been proven to our history. Jesus is the only one that's going to have to do this thing. So that being said, me the man is just hoping and praying that we all can get it right. That's the only thing. I mean, hey, I just pray that we all can get it right. That's simple as that. I mean, forget all the acrobats and the flip jumping and the, and the, and the keyboard playing. And get, forget all that stuff. I just hope that we all can get it right and be with Christ and not end up lost. That's all. That's it. Now, who's going to do that? If Jesus don't do it, middle man certainly can't. Neither can anyone else. It's a choice that you go on yourself. Only somebody can make that decision is you. So with that being said, we just hope that everybody keep their eyes on these signs of the time. Keep your head up. Keep your eyes to the hills. We're coming out here. For I do believe, people, that we are the generation that are going to see the ushering in of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That being said, look up. For our redemption draw nigh. This is Mitty Man saying peace. Goodbye.